First round draft pick, Jeff Okuda is out for the rest of the season. He's undergoing groin surgery. So, thank you everybody for liking, for commenting, but most of all for subscribing to this channel. I have seen a, just a tremendous growth over this last week. It's been awesome. And that is all thanks to you. Thank you for being a part of this and for helping me out and, and for just enjoying the content that I'm bringing you. Yeah, so just a couple minutes ago, word hit the street that Jeff Okuda is done for the rest of the season. For the remaining four games, Okuda's gone. So obviously we picked up Okuda. I was literally about to do a progress report video on him. Uh, he started six out of the nine games he has played thus far. He has been terrible. Okuda's been terrible. He has, a couple weeks ago, he gets this shoulder injury. So he's been out for two weeks with a shoulder injury. We know that the groin injury has been a problem of his since Ohio State. So here we are. Our number one draft pick is dead. There he is getting surgery in a place that, my God, I would never want surgery. Jeff Okuda's injury, in some aspects, affects us, obviously, Okuda is technically the worst cornerback in the NFL. That's right. You heard it. The worst cornerback in the NFL in the 2020 season. However, I'll say this. For all of those that were drafted this year, they didn't have a preseason. And for some guys, they've excelled. Some guys, they have not. Jeff is in the has not excelled. But what we do know is, hey, you know what? We didn't have a preseason. There were no games to get him prepared. His first game was against Green Bay. And that demoralized the poor man. It would demoralize anybody. We have suffered so many injuries that it doesn't shock me. Like the fact that it just pops up and I'm, I'm literally slamming a taco. And I'm like, eh, that feels right. The most intriguing part of it is he probably is choosing to have surgery on it now and to sit out the next four games so that he could be ready for next year. So kind of interesting being like, all right, obviously it's been an issue. Right now we are technically in the wild card hunt, so it is an interesting time. But hey, listen, if your groin's killing you, it's, it's killing you, man. So got to do what you got to do. Uh, but we are in the wild card hunt uh, there is still technically a chance. Really, we need to come out tomorrow and smack Green Bay. You know what? I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm open. So the depth of our cornerback position is uh, getting thin. It feels like I'm walking across that light ice on a March day. At this point, Trufant is gone. Uh, he's on the IR. Now Okuda's gone. So at this point, we really have Justin Coleman, we've got Roberts, and we've got a Manny out there. So between those three, they are going to be the uh, cornerbacks that we'll see on the field uh, defending our honor here in Detroit against one bad man. Okuda has actually had a good season when it comes to stopping the run. His run defense has been very good. When it comes to stopping the pass, not so much. But there's been a lot of interesting plays defensively where you'll watch him cut in from the corner and actually take down either the running back or, in a few cases, the quarterback. So, overall, Jeff Okuda has had a bad year. But again, no training camp, no preseason, no nothing. He just gets out there week two. He was thrown into the fire. So I don't blame him. I do think he needs to be better next year for sure to be worth the third overall pick and our first round pick this season, especially when we could have picked up either Tua or Herbert. And I know it's some of you are going to say, Tua didn't want to play in Detroit. Sure, sure, he didn't. I still would have drafted him. I'd have made him sit. Been like, whatever, bro. Different story, different day. I think what I'm going to miss most about Okuda on the field uh, between A, his fire and his fiery attitude, and B, every time he screws up, screaming Jeff at the television. That's going to be definitely going to miss that. So until then, go line.